Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I got Zoya Everly in Creative Shop 17. I'll also be using my Painted Desert Short Squovel Full Coverage Nails. And here is Zoya's Everly. I don't know why this one sat in the unused box for so long. So pretty. And there's the box with the Short Squovel Quick Gel Tips. I've got them out on my little nail wheel and I'm going to paint them on here and then apply them to my nails. I'll show you that at the end of the video. So we're going in with our first coat of Everly and it's a little sheer, not terrible, but you know, a little sheer and it's so pretty though. Here we go with our second coat and it is building up nice, but I am going to go in with the third coat. I know I could have gotten away with two. For how short these nails are but I'm just gonna go ahead and go for that gusto here we go the third coat it's such a pretty polish so many colors are jumping out of it pink purple orange it's just so stinking gorgeous I am gonna top this one with I am M's out the door I'm gonna get it to dry down so we can do some playing I'm gonna cap my free edge there here we go, Creative Shop 17. I love this plate. I love all the Creative Shop plates. Every one that I own is amazing. I need more. <laughs> so there is the plate, all those pretty images. I'll be stamping with Basis Loaded Lacquer on the black. I've got out my Conad Stamper and my H. La Costa Dora Scraper. And I've picked this image, and it's going to go on all of the nails. I don't know what drew me to it. Bubbly, swirly, twirly looking, uh, you know, it's my thing. And I just really liked how it looked over these nails. You still get to see that polish from underneath. I did clean my stamper off on a lint roller, and the plate got cleaned with pure acetone. And here we go with another one. I'm just going to show you me doing a couple of them. I'm not doing all of them on camera. Because they're all the same. <clears throat> so there we go. Mush, mush. Ta-da! Alright, so I'm going to clean off my card and my stamping plate with the acetone. And I am using a lint-free wipe to wipe over it. I'm going to top these with the smudge-free top coat from Maniology. And once that is completely dry... I'm going to hop in here with my posh top coat and then I'm going to let them dry completely like 100% like really dry because I don't want to mess them up applying them to my nails. I am going to be applying some IMK Peel Ease because <clears throat> I, I, I wanted to wear these but I didn't want I didn't know how long I wanted to wear them so I didn't want to like glue glue them on. So there's one coat, and I'm going to pop on a second coat, because I, I just, like I said, I've said it in other videos, I have commitment issues sometimes with things like this, so until I get really comfortable with them, I'm going to do them this way. <laughs> then the camera going blurry. Oh, stop it. You behave. Alrighty, I'll be using the Kiss Power Flex glue. This is just nail glue. I don't remember who recommended this, but I got it and I'm going to use it. Now you got to work quick with nail glue. You got to got to get it turned around. There we go. Slide it up close to the cuticle, make sure that it's straight, and then push it down and hold it until it starts really sticking and it's sticking. Now it's done. And there it is. Here's my manicure. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.